Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about how hypertension leads to kidney disease. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. We have already discussed about hypertension in our previous videos. If you haven't watched them yet, the links are given in the description. Before starting with the pathogenesis, let's discuss about the glomerulus a little bit. As you can see, this is the Bowman's capsule which is a double pouch structure that covers the glomerulus. These are the glomerular capillaries. This is the interlobular artery which further branches to efferent arteriole entering the glomerulus and bringing blood. And this is the efferent arteriole which carries blood away from the glomerulus. A type of contractile cells are present in the glomerulus called as mesangial cells which constitute the central stalk of the glomerulus. These cells perform various functions including regulation of GFR and release of inflammatory mediators. Now let's discuss the basics of kidney disease. So, kidney disease is basically caused by a decline in renal function due to many factors. This decrease in renal function results in decrease in GFR, glomerular filtration rate. In easier words, GFR will tell you how well your kidneys are functioning. If low GFR persists for more than 3 months, it leads to kidney disease. Now, let's discuss the pathogenesis of how hypertension causes kidney disease. In order to understand it better, we will use the flowchart method. So, hypertension results in thickening of the efferent and efferent arterioles as a compensatory mechanism. This thickening is basically hyaline deposition, also known as hyaline arteriosclerosis. Now, due to thickening of the arterioles, less blood will pass through the arterioles, which will result in decrease in the oxygen supply to the glomerular cells, also called as ischemia. Ischemia will result in death of the cells, also called as necrosis. When necrosis occurs, it stimulates the mesangial cells. As we discussed earlier, mesangial cells perform various functions, which also includes release of a cytokine called as transforming growth factor, abbreviated as TGF-beta. This results in fibrosis, which is called as glomerular sclerosis. Now, due to this, the GFR is reduced. And when this low GFR persists for more than 3 months, then it results in the chronic kidney disease. So that is it for this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.